in fisheries economics it is an important thing to know that how the changes take place in the stock of the fisheries that is the fishes over time so for that uh, we are going to apply the tool of the first order differential equation to come up with the pattern and of how the fish stock changes over time so this economic application is based on this uh, example where there is a fishery and the rate of change of fish in the stock is uh, represented with this differential equation where the fish is in thousands and t is in years so we can derive an expression for this um, certain example that will be the time path which will show that how uh, the um, changes will take place over time and will that converge towards the equilibrium or not here a piece of information is given that at any time t given f is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 so in the beginning there are no fishes in the fishery this is the initial condition that we can use in addition to this further information is given and for that we can find out some solution that is we can see that how uh, much of the fish will be there during the beginning till the end of the 30th time period further examination can be done by plotting this graph that is from now till 30 years and then we have to see if the maximum capacity of carrying the fish is achieved or not another experiment can be that we can find out the number of years that are required to reach the level of 40,000 fishes in the fishery or the fish stock so we can do part B and part C as well however in this video the detailed solution of the part one is given that is will time will try to derive the time path so this is the first order differential equation which is given in this case and I can extract the values of a and b by rearranging them in a way that will allow me to extract the values so there is a product that I need to simplify and I've done that the variable part is left shifted to the left hand side and the constant part is shifted to the right hand side and then we have extracted these values which are here and these values are now visible that b is equal to 9.6 which is not equal to 0 which means that we have a non homogeneous case and the uh, there are no fishes when there is no uh, spent time and the initial condition is equal to 0 numerically speaking and a is a non zero so in the light of the given uh, situation uh, data we have a non homogeneous case where a is not equal to zero by using these values we can come to this conclusion so in that in this case i can simply use the definite solution of this case and the formula is written here the values of b and a will be substituted wherever possible and y will also be replaced with f which you can see f is brought here in this place a and b they are both substituted wherever their signs were symbols and we can simplify this expression and we will get this time path which is the fish stock time path the particular integral is at and the complementary function is this so with this we have an exponential decator and complementary function is here deviation part is here and the time path is here t is equal to 0 and we are choosing a difference of 10 which means that we are is trying to achieve a significant change here and we have done so because the value has declined from 80 in absolute sense to 0 0.002 the negative sign shows that there is negative deviation Mm, here we have noted this observation and the value on in absolute sense is declining so there is a decay as the negative sign was present in the exponential part so we have the uh, time path value and that is obtained by adding the particular integral that is fp in the complementary function 
so after adding this we got these values it it was zero and then it try uh, it, it, it kept on increasing so we can say that as it is increasing it will rise in in a graph and it will converge because of the negative um, deviation in on the decay so this will happen that as the time passes complementary function will decrease and as the deviation decreases the time path will converge to the equilibrium so the convergence is taking place so this is the um, equilibrium and this is the time path which is now increasing and it is coming towards the equilibrium it is not intersecting it but uh, due to the close distance it is not visible that there is a small gap in between so it is an asymptote we must admit this thing as uh, we have an exponential decay term in in which there are asymptotes that get close to the other line but they do not intersect it the initial condition is f naught is equal to zero and that is also evident because the uh, when the time was not spent in this process of making the fishery there was no fish definitely we need some time for the fish to uh, you know grow in the fisheries so this is also making sense here the natural science of fishery also makes sense that when no time is spent the fish will not be there so here we can see that uh, graphically as well as numerically as well as symbolically we have tried to understand and interpret the dynamics of the fish stock in the fishery by using the first order differential equations thank you in addition to analyzing the time path these two parts they can also be conducted and they are beneficial in making sense of this situation the fishery and the fish stock uh, as they say that we are required to make the graph of the total fish stock as a function of time from t0 is equal to t30 so we can do this very easily by making the graph by keeping time on x axis and fish on the fish stock on the y axis and then we can see that how the changes are taking place so here i have um, plotted it and you can see that t is equal to 0 here and t is equal to 30 here and here you can see that it is uh, increasing but afterwards it is getting close and it is getting a kind of horizontal after it so the part in which he was asking about if uh, the uh, maximum carrying capacity is approached this seems like happening here because there is no further uh, evident change in the uh, shape of the curve as I plotted this shape in that diagram it, it is like becoming horizontal here it means that it is perhaps reaching the maximum carrying capacity and the next part is uh, to calculate the number of years that would be required to reach the fish stock to level up to 40,000 so in this case the number of years is unknown whereas the uh, value of the fish stock after uh, that certain number of year is known which is 40,000 so I can use the time path and I can get to this time period by simply reversing the substitution let us see if we can get the time path here so we can borrow it from here this is the same thing that is the time path and uh, this time we are give not given the time so time will remain there and the remaining term will be solved again the time uh, in the exponent will all also be left as it is 0.12t plus at so this is to be found this time period here is to be found whereas this ft is given it is told in that part of the question that 40,000 is the level of certain fish stock that we have reached and how much of the time will be required so this is the unknown in this case 
whereas the fish stock at this stage of time is given. So I can solve this equation simply by using the simple algebra and the value of t is something I want to know and that will be the answer that will tell us about the time which is required for the fish stock to reach the level of 40,000. In this way a wholesome analysis of this uh, fish stock uh, economic application of the first order differential equation can be conducted.